Hi friends, welcome to this week's Sunday Sermon Preview for Sunday, September 27th. Booker T. Washington was an American hero. He was an African-American educator, an orator, an author, and even an advisor to the President of the United States. His generation was the last generation born into slavery. And one of the books he wrote was called Up From Slavery. And it talked about himself growing up in that culture of slavery. And one of the things that he mentioned, and he took some time to talk about in there, was a shirt that was given to slaves. And it was made out of flax. Now, flax was a very rough material, these shirts. And it often, when it was being worn, it would, it would cause sores because it was so rough. And you'd often bleed wearing these. But after a while, wearing these shirts, the roughness became soft and it became a very comfortable shirt. Now, Booker T. Washington had a brother, an older brother, and his older brother used to take the new shirts and wear them until they were soft and then give them to Booker T. So Booker T. Washington never had to wear one of those rough shirts that caused so much pain. Why did his brother do that? We don't know much about his brother, but we know that he loved his younger brother, Booker T. Washington. This week, we look at another one of Jesus' apostles, James, son of Alphaeus. He's much like Booker T. Washington's uh, older brother. We don't know a lot about him, but we do know that he loved. We do know that Jesus called him to be one of his disciples. When Jesus turned from the crowd to talk privately to his disciples, we know that he was there. We know that he was uh, amongst the 12 that Jesus sent out into the world. We do know somewhat of James just because of the position he had. But there was never anything written about James, which means he probably never did anything wrong, because that's usually when you got written up. Come this week, 1045, uh, we're going to look at James and how God used an ordinary guy to do extraordinary events. God bless you again. We look forward to seeing you at 1045.